in these types of questions, you'll have some sort of maybe a metal plate or something where the heat is, uh, the, the energy, the heat energy is transferred through the, through the, uh, the plate or, the, or the, the wall or something like that. Basically, it's conduction. And for these, um, again, they usually give you the dimensions of whatever it is. Uh, they tell you thermal thermal conductivity, and they'll have they'll tell you the differences in temperatures. So to start this, we need to list our variables. And again, you'll typically have them uh, them listed out for you. The first thing we need is the area, and this area must be in meters squared. Um, and as you can see, we're given this in centimeters squared. So the area is obviously just length times width. Uh, it's supposed to be an L, and uh, but again, it needs to be in meters. So um, we have 40 centimeters, which is going to be 0.4 meters, and we have 50 centimeters, which is actually it should be a 0.40. So this is 0.50 uh, meters, and uh, this will come into play later. But um, the thickness is 0.03 meters so when we do that we just want the length times the width and so that will be our 0.40 meters times the 0.50 meters the length times the width and so our area is just going to be 0 0.220 uh, meters squared so k is going to be our next thing that's just our thermal conductivity uh, from up here. So it's going to be 50.2 joules per second meters degrees Celsius. Then we have L, our thickness of our plate, of our wall, or whatever it is. And this is where the uh, three centimeter thickness, we had to write it as meters. Okay, and so it's 0 0.303 meters. We have our delta T, capital T, our change in temperature, in this case our difference in temperature and so our delta t is basically it's capital t so be careful with that is going to be our 60 degrees celsius on the one side and 45 degrees celsius on the other so our delta t is going to be 15 degrees celsius and our other delta t our lowercase t which is time and for this one we have it in five minutes and minutes doesn't work we need seconds and so our other delta t our small delta t we have five minutes and basically there is 60 seconds in one minute minutes cancels out and so we basically have 300 seconds so i'll write that over here as well so those are our all of our given variables now, we have uh, step two, identify the unknown values and the unit of measure. So we will be finding capital P, which is the rate of energy transfer. In other words, how fast is, how, how, what is the rate at which energy is being transferred through this steel plate? And that will be in watts. So whenever you have a energy the rate of energy transfer, that's how much energy per second. So that's always going to be watts. And then we have the actual uh, energy transfer, how much energy total, basically. And that is just measured in joules, again, capital J. J capital J. Okay. So now we want to select the equations to solve for the unknown variables. Well, given the variables that we have, we will have P, capital P, the rate of energy transfer is equal to K times area times delta T for temperature divided by capital L thickness. And the other one uh, we're going to use is also capital P. Uh, and that's just going to be a simple Q divided by delta lowercase t time. So uh, we we wanted to find capital P. So we used uh, the first one because we we're going to have all these variables already given to us. And then to find the capital Q, the only one that really makes sense is this equation because it has the capital Q in it. We will know the, uh, the delta T and we'll know the P from our previous equation. So to do that, first thing we had to solve for P. 
So we take that first equation, because we don't know Q, so we have to use the first equation, and we just substitute the numbers in. So K uh, was given up above, it's 50.2 joules per second meters degrees Celsius times the area, 0 0.2 meters squared times uh, the change in temperature, which is 15 degrees Celsius. And we'll divide all that by the thickness, L, 0 0.03 meters. And when we solve for that, the number we get will be 5,020. And let's see what happens here. Meters squared. Well, that first meter will cancel out with that meter. The second meters will cancel out with that. Degrees Celsius will cancel out. And we are just left with joules per second. Which is kind of nice because what's joules per second? Joules per second is watts. It's the rate of energy per second. So we just found the rate of energy transfer. Now we need to find the actual amount of energy that's been transferred during that amount of time. So to solve for Q, we take P is equal to Q divided by change in temperature, and we rearrange that to solve for Q. Q just ends up being P times delta T. And so we plug in our numbers in Q, Q is equal to 5,020 joules per second. I just left it as that because we're about to cancel it out. Times delta T, which up here was 300 seconds. Seconds will cancel out, and Q ends up being a very large number, 1,506,000 joules.